Hey friends, long time no talk. Today I'm jumping right into the video. So what I'm doing today is my Sephora VIB haul and I am late. <laughs> I'm really late on this video, y'all. The sale is probably going to be well over by the time I post it, but I just want to talk to you guys about the products that I decided to purchase during the sale because I think what it was 20% off and it's like everybody waits for this time of the year. I think it happens maybe twice a year for Sephora that they have the VIB sale. I know there's one in the spring and then obviously this fall slash winter type of sale. So yeah, I'm just going to hop right into my products that I purchased and let's start with hair. Okay, so the first hair product that I purchased in the sale was actually this Diva Curl Kit and it looks like this right here. I was actually kind of excited to see a kit like this. Um, well, to get it on sale, you know. I think Diva Curl redid their formulas and stuff like that. So I just wanted to try it because People were saying like Diva Curl is making their hair fall out and whatnot, and I just need to know. Like that never happened to me, so I definitely wanted to give this new formula a try. So I got the Essential Starter Kit for coarse waves, curls, and coils. Um, the kit comes with wash day and styler, so I got the No Poo Decadence. Um, this is a zero lather cleanser for ultra rich moisture, and then I got the ultra rich cream conditioner. So conditioner <laughs> and then for the two stylers that came with it super cream which I used to love I love the super cream so I'm really excited to try this a new one and then I got the ultra defining gel so this is my curly kit from diva curl moving on into my next product by diva curl this is their curl bond and you guys know I actually live by Olaplex like that's my main squeeze. I've tried other like Bond products. I think I used the one by Curlsmith and I like it too, but I don't know. I just always keep coming back for the Diva Curl, but I wanted to give this one a try as well. And FYI, I think I will have like the prices pop up on the screen just because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Y'all, I'm sorry, but yeah, this is the Diva Curl Curl Bond. It's a recoiling cream conditioner and it's for damaged curls. And y'all know I have color treated hair and curly hair so I'm excited for this one the next product I decided to purchase is this Moroccan oil treatment right here um, I've seen the Moroccan oil brand all over Sephora however it's pretty expensive so that's not something that I would just purchase like on my own unless I really end up liking this but I feel like it's gonna low-key just be like an oil I hope it's not because I spent my hard-earned money on it but I'm excited to give this oil a try hopefully once I wash my hair because I am so pressed out like soaked out right now so I probably won't be using this for a while but I'm excited to try it looking at the highlights on Sephora it says that this product does increase shine it's good for dryness and frizz and it's for all hair types so I mean I guess I could put a little oil if I wanted to but I'm not going to because I personally don't like when my straight hair gets really oily and weighed down so now let's get into my OGs. Like, of course, I had to purchase my Olaplex. I had to get a little re-up while it was on sale. So I actually bought this Olaplex bottle. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. But y'all, I just want y'all to notice. This is a big bottle. <laughs> this is their 8.5 fluid ounce size. So I was really excited because I think the one that I normally buy, it's like 3.3 and I get maybe three uses out of it. So maybe I'll get six out of this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not six. Maybe it's way more than that. Um, I have a lot of hair, y'all. Well, not a lot, but it's just thick. So this is a limited edition bonus size. So I hope y'all didn't miss out on this because... This one right here is the one and not the two, okay? <laughs> All right, my next Olaplex product. I bought the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask and it looks like this right here. I've used this before and this is my second time purchasing this. This makes my hair so soft. Like my curls, like if I've, if I'm experienced really, really dry curls, especially like I've used conditioners before that have dried my hair out. It ain't supposed to do that like if I'm trying a new product and it just so happens to dry my hair out if I use this right after 
it's like I never used that product. My hair is so soft and shiny. So I had to repurchase this and I'm probably gonna continue purchase, purchasing this because this is one of my favorite masks right now, especially if you have curly hair definitely purchase this somebody asked me is olaplex only for white people and it's just like i don't know how to answer that because like no <laughs> it's for all hair types so to me that means if you got curls straight hair wavy hair all of the above like you should be using these products especially if your hair is damaged or color treated okay so next let's go into skincare i guess i didn't purchase that much skincare but I'll just go over the few products that I did get. So, number one. So, this is the Watermelon Glow Dream Cream. Did I say that right? No. Pink Dream Body Cream. Um, I just bought this because I wanted to try a new lotion, actually. I usually use the Bum Bum Cream. I think it's in, like, the yellow um, container. And I have used the pink one before as well. I love both of them. And I probably will purchase them again one day. I just wanted to try something new. And I really like this brand. So, I can't wait to try this. And it's watermelon, like... I know it's gonna smell good because I love like they have the watermelon um, mist I love spraying that one and then I like the toner too but it wasn't enough for my skin <laughs> I prefer the Clinique toner and also I've been getting into this other toner that's like a green tea toner I can't remember the name of it but I'll probably link it below so yeah this is my first skincare product so my next product is a cleanser and I don't even know if I know how to say it is Ole Henrik Ole Henriksen Ole Henriksen Ole Henriksen anyways it looks like this it's in this really pretty green tube and it says it's a oil control cleanser I'm very oily like my skin gets really oily so I thought I should give this one a shot um, it says find your balance oil control cleanser green infusion complex neem seed oil and eight HAs I don't know what that means but the box says it's deep cleansing action helps unclog and purify pores without stripping the skin and I've had that issue with cleansers in the past like my face feels completely stripped so I really want to put this one to the test and I'll let you guys know if you guys should purchase it in the future so my next product is pretty much in between makeup and skincare I think it's like more on the skincare side just because it is a lip mask and it looks like this right here this is the sugar advanced therapy recovery lip mask and i think this was really expensive actually to be like so tiny um but it is a recovery lip mask so i'm excited to see how that goes it says it's a leave-on mask that locks in moisture and soothes dry skin while you're asleep it's infused with berry wax the treatment blankets your lips and intense nourishment and gives lips a plump look to reveal a pillow soft pout <laughs> I can't wait to try this. I have a lot of lip care products, I feel like, but I don't think you can have enough. <laughs> and actually, I forgot all about this little mask right here. This is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask, and it helps to clear pores, and it's by the brand Origins. I got this little mini because I'm sick and tired of buying stuff, and then I don't really use it all because maybe I don't like it. So I'm trying to get more in the habit of purchasing these mini bottles and then just being like, okay, I like this. I'm gonna go re-up or I don't like this I'm never buying it again and I didn't spend the total amount of money so this is a little mask that I cannot wait to try so now we're transitioning more into the makeup side and the first product I want to talk about is this go off makeup dissolving mist it's by the brand one size and basically all I have to do is spray my face when it has makeup on it I cannot wait to try this and watch my makeup melt off like I cannot wait this says it's an epic continuous mist that dissolves makeup on contact so I'm really excited about this one it says it has a hoba and brightening rosehip oils um, my face won't be left feeling tight or dry so can't wait to try this one um, I haven't really heard much about it at all I just saw it and was like I'm grabbing it up it's on sale why not try it <laughs> and then so for my next mini that i have today this is the on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray this is also by one size and it says makeup insurance for 16 hours so 
we'll see about that i've seen this spray on sephora for a while now but i was just like oh i have plenty of facial sprays so i didn't think to buy it like a couple months ago but i'm about to try it now in the mini size <laughs> The next product I wanna chat about really quickly is that new Rare Beauty Mascara. Um, so I don't have it with me right now to show it on camera because I think it's packed in my bag because I have not unpacked for my last trip, unfortunately. However, I did use it um, while I was on my trip in Tennessee and I really like that mascara. People were talking about it on YouTube and I was just kinda like, it's mascara, like, What's the big deal but i would like to say that it really did elongate my lashes and if you don't have lashes at all i personally would recommend that mascara to at least just give it a try um because i really liked it so that being said i'm gonna move into some products by anastasia beverly hills abh um these are actually some products i've been waiting to purchase but um yeah they're expensive like abh is really expensive to me that's to me so i got three products by them i got the abh new concealer this is in the shade 10 i think i guess so anyways this is the magic touch concealer and i've heard a lot of good things about this concealer and i cannot wait to try it and then i did purchase the stick blush by abh and i got it in the shade caramel it's actually really dark. The color that I wanted was not available because y'all some vultures, but that's okay. Um, I think it'll still end up being really cute though. I don't know if you guys can see it, but last but not least, I got this cream bronzer in the shade Hazelnut. It looks like this in the back. You can kind of see right on the side how dark it is. I like my cream bronze to be a little dark so i'm excited to try this because i actually do have a stick bronzer that i really like so i want to see how this one works out let's get into some lip products i did not buy many i only bought two and they're by the same brand so i have the makeup by mario lipsticks these are the ultra suede lipsticks so let me just open them real quick i really love the packaging for these the sleek white and the black writing is such a mood so let me see the first shade the first shade is garth and ooh, it looks like this so i just put it on my hand for now because i'm already wearing lipstick but this is just a little swatch and it really went on my skin smooth so i can't wait to apply that later and then i have one more shade and it's called jesse and it looks like this it's very similar you guys know i love to rock a good nude jesse is actually a lot pinkier it's given like more rose or mauve so i think that's super cute you guys i cannot wait to try those on and if you've had or tried any of these products already let me know in the comments below because let me know how they work, girl. Like, I need to know before I try them. I mean, I'm going to try them anyways, but I like to hear you guys' opinions. Anyways, thank you guys. If you stay to the end of this video, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my channel with me as a permanent member. And yeah, don't forget to hit that bell either because, girl, make sure you get notified whenever I post my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys. Thank you.